Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how we can apply CSS colors to our website. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We'll need four paragraphs to begin with. I'll name the first paragraph P1, the second will be P2, followed by P3, then P4. We can change the background color of an element or the font color. Let's begin with the background color of the body of our document. Within our external style sheet, I will select our body element. I'll change the background color property to be. Now, with colors, we can use names, we can use RGB values, hexadecimal values, or HSL values. For the first example, we'll use named colors. There are multiple sites in which you can find named colors. Let's go with this one, slate gray. Background color, slate gray. Save your changes, and there you go. The background color is now slate gray. Let's change the font color of our P1 paragraph. I will select the ID of P1. I will change the color, that's the font color, to be, do they have tomato? Yes, there is. For P1, let's change the color to be tomato, because I like tomatoes. Those are named colors. Another option is RGB values. For paragraph 2, we will set the color to be a set of RGB values. RGB, then a set of parentheses. R meaning red, G meaning green, B meaning blue. I would recommend looking up a color picker for this. I would like a light bluish color. So let's select, uh, that's good. You'll find a set of three values for RGB. These values range from 0 to 255. We will paste those three values within the set of parentheses, and there's that blue color. Let's do this with the background color too. Let's change the background color from a named color to RGB values. RGB, parentheses. Let's go with whatever color this is. 41, 41, 41. And there's that new color. Then we have hexadecimal values. For P3, we will change the color to be some hex value. Let's go with the green color. That's decent. Hexadecimal values are a combination of numbers and letters. The letters range from A to F. We'll copy this hex value, then paste it. Hex values with CSS should start with a hashtag. And there's that green color. Let's change the background color again. Let's go with the lighter color this time. 54, 54, 54. There we are. Okay, lastly, we have HSL values. For P4, color, colon. Now, if you're using VS Code, here's a little trick. We can pull up a color picker. Let's type a color like black. Click on the box, and there's a color picker that's built in. For HSL, we can click the top bar here. H meaning hue, S meaning saturation, L meaning lightness. Let's go with the purple color. We have one value, then two percentages. Let's change the background color again using HSL. I'll pick something a little bit darker. That's good. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, with CSS colors, you can pick either color names, RGB values, hexadecimal values, or HSL values. Through the remainder of the series, we'll be using HSL. And well, everybody, that's an introduction to CSS colors.